Good morning. Welcome to Stretton Circuit. We're back for the final round of the summer series. We say summer. The woolly hats and the coats probably give the game away. It's now nearly the end of October and it was four degrees when we left the hotel this morning. So it's a bit fresh. So we're just doing a, a walk around the circuit. So this is the third round that I've done. So I did a previous YouTube video, my first ever race weekend here. Uh, we've been back since and then we're back for the final round today. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. The track definitely is a bit damp in places, but it's early. It's supposed to be fairly bright and sunny today, so it should dry up. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let you know how we get on uh, through the day. We'll, we'll carry on with our uh, walk of the circuit. We were lucky enough to be able to both ride on the Saturday night before the Sunday racing. So under the floodlights, unbelievable. Such an amazing experience. I'll never forget, never ridden on a track in the dark before. And yeah, it was truly amazing. And Kate was absolutely flying. Yeah, I definitely had my work cut out. Uh, but it was good to get some laps in before the racing on the Sunday. format of the day was 10 minute warm up practice, 10 minute qualifying, then three 12 lap races. So this is young Zach showing me the way to go. I would say I uh, managed to tag onto the back of him and keep up, but that would be a bit of a lie I'm afraid. Okay, practice is done. 10 minutes, went in the blink of an eye, real good. Uh, just warming into it, it's a little bit cold, so it will warm up. But yeah, I think we're okay. I think it's five people in the super mini class that I'm racing this time. So I'm racing a different bike than the first YouTube video, I'm racing a Honda CRF 150, so that puts it into a different class. But yeah, it's five of us, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on. Qualifying is up next. Okay, so well done mate, you look like you were going good, how'd you get on? Yeah, it's good, yeah, tracks in much better condition now, so did a 4403, which I think is the quickest I've done on this CRF in that direction of the circuit. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how we get on. I'm sure I'll be last on the grid, but who cares, we're here for fun. And you're running a different number? I'm having to run the number eight, can you believe it? When I signed on this morning, someone's already flagged the number nine. Five people and someone's got the number nine, so yeah, so uh, strategic tape, and we're now running number eight today. That's the important bit, checking our lap times. How are they? Well, I'd rather swap with James's to be fair. We swap bikes. We'll swap down Yeah, it's all good. Right. Oh, that's there we go, thank you. No excuses, podium now, or you're sacked. Oh, mate. <laughs> you lost your ride for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm still waiting for the call from Honda, you never know. Well, you haven't had 25 crashes so far in one season.
race one was fairly non-eventful for me really it's just a bit of a ride round um, all the action seems to come in race two and three as you'll see a bit later here comes Matt now coming up to take the second flag here he comes across the line Race two was a way more interesting affair. So I had Ruben alongside me, who I met for the first time on the day, and uh, I qualified just about a second slower than him. But we were together the whole race, and uh, I knew he was behind me. I was trying to hold him off. Uh, it made a real interesting race. Really enjoyed it. Actually racing someone rather than just riding around. Big difference. I knew Ruben was behind me, he'd been behind me the whole race and then I missed a gear coming through this really tight section and let him through. I was absolutely gutted so I was adamant that I was going to um, get back past him uh, but it was not straightforward, I had to work real hard. So I did manage to sneak back through and then um, again he was right behind me the whole way learned so much in this race racing this close with someone it's a totally different dynamic um, I absolutely loved it felt like a you know, proper race and I had to work hard to finish where I did Day, I had great support from Kate and my brother Paul as ever, uh, which was real nice. Bye -bye. <laughs> Bye -bye. It's yeah, it was good. Every lap is a 43. First lap, 42. Oh, okay, new one. Good. That's a work for that one. I'm, I'm glad I missed the gear. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we saw is that. Got, we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I missed the gear, I had to sit up. I, oh. evasive action to swerve around him that was uh yeah that was an interesting moment he did soon get going as you'll see right behind me is the other number nine <laughs> this is an interesting shot you can see the green lights on the dash coming on so that's me that's the dash telling me that that's going to be my fastest lap uh, my lap time has dropped massively so qualified with a 44 and i think i ended up doing a high 41 in this race so yeah, racing someone really, really pushed my lap times on, which is great. Again in this race, Ruben was right behind me. I was having a look over my shoulder when I could, and at times he was real close, certainly through the slower stuff, he was able to close up on me. So yeah, made me work real hard. I'm on the last lap here, um, see the last lap flag, and I eased off too much. Um, I thought I had it in the bag. And this is the last corner just coming up. Last corner, last lap. So, so lucky to stay on. Yeah, I really felt the contact. I know that. Oh, oh come on, Matt. No, no. Don't, oh, he pushed him wide. Oh, no, no, he kept it. He kept it. Well done. Yay. Yeah. Well done, contact somewhere.
way back. Didn't get to do any filming at the track. It's always a bit hectic packing up. But it's a, a brilliant day. Brilliant night practice last night as well. But brilliant day. Race two and three. Uh, I had someone to fight with, which is what it's all about. Proper racing, I guess, rather than just riding around on my own. And uh, yeah, I had to work real hard. I knew I was riding hard because I set the fastest lap time I've ever done around there, um, which is good. And I came out on top in both battles, but it was it was not easy. Nearly had a, a last corner incident with Ruben. How close was it? Very close. Even closer for him with the tire wall. Yeah, yeah. Poor Ruben tried to go up the inside and then had a collision with the tire wall. But it was, it was all... Try. He had a go. He had a go on the last corner. That's all you can say. So fair play to him. Uh, it was really good to ride with him. Hopefully get to ride with him again. So yeah, uh, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. The Stretton Summer Series is a fantastic series to get into racing. It's really opened my eyes, well, our eyes, isn't it? We've learned a lot about how racing works and we've been following all sorts of racing for years, so it's been great. So, and met some wonderful people. Met some brilliant people, just the best, friendliest, most helpful people. And Stretton is a great place. The people there are also really, really friendly. So there we go. We will continue on our journey back to Wales and we'll see you on the next one. So when we left Stretton after the last race, it wasn't until we got home that we realised that I finished third in the championship. So here we are, four weeks later, Saturday night, we're back here for the awards evening. Uh, can't quite believe it, I was really shocked. Uh, I'm not gonna claim that I'm gonna be the next Mark Marquez, not all the races had loads of people in and all that. However, more than happy to take a third, uh, absolutely over the moon, to be honest in third place in the super mini class, Matt Allen. Hey.